Okay, still waiting for a lot more people to join, but time is of the essence. And the guest of honour for today is a very busy lady. She has to leave early, a little bit early, so we're going to have to get things moving. So starting off with introductions, I first need to do some preliminaries by saying first of all, hello and welcome to One Love Radio. Welcome to Kizomba Lockdown Series 2, Episode 3. Also, hello to everyone connecting in via Facebook Live, the Facebook Live stream. If you're connected already, thank you very much. Please keep sharing. It's early. We've just started, so there's time to share. And um, when you're on the session, it will really help if you uh, post some comments so that we can interact with you. I need to say hello to everyone listening on One Love Radio 24-7 live stream as well. You guys listening in via the website on oneloveradio.net. And also those listening via the app, the mobile app. Hello to you too. And if you're new to the concept of One uh, One Love Radio, or rather the Kizomba Lockdown, we're simply trying to keep the vibes alive during this whole you know, this COVID D lockdown madness. It's a six day Facebook live event happening at 7 p.m. each day for one hour. We started series two on Tuesday, and that was with Mr. Bonnie Facio. Each day we have a new VIP guest joining us, discussing a whole range of different topics, relevant topics. In the meantime, we're sharing and enjoying some great music along the way, videos along the way, and having a lot of fun. So, so today we have somebody else, uh, another Kizomba VIP coming to join us. Just before I uh, introduce her, there's a clue for you, or you should know by now anyway. But just before I introduce her, I said before we had Bonifacio on Tuesday, we also had Richard Voot, who was supposed to be joined by Dr. Kizomba, but uh, <laughs> sometimes the plan doesn't always go straight, but it was still a, it was an amazing show all the same. Tomorrow we've got Mr. Uncle Carney. Saturday we have Nilton Romalo. And on Sunday, Robert and Jean. However, today, today, Thursday, 23rd of April, I would like you all to say a big or give a big, big welcome to Miss Iris De Brito. <laughs> Hello, Iris. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right oh what's that cracking sound i can hear some croaking going on there yes it's cracking i don't know i was told that i need to get a like a professional microphone or something to do this yeah well it would it would it would, it would be probably be better but when we were testing earlier on it wasn't doing that was it this crackling sound no, it was not doing that before. no that's strange that's strange Anyway, we have to just deal deal with it. We'll deal with it. So, how are you? How have you been, Iris? I haven't seen you for so long. Uh, a lot of people haven't seen each other for so long. But um, are you doing okay throughout this lockdown situation? Yeah, I'm alright. Um, I'm quite fed up now. Let's just put it out there. I'm fed up, so I'm playing with tons now. So this is, <laughs> this is, we start doing crazy. <laughs> you go crazy with pom poms. <laughs> I know you, you you're just you're just one of these energetic people that just have to be doing something all the time aren't you as a dancer inherently yeah yeah, yeah. I mean I'm, I'm I'm able to stay still I'm able to be in stillness but yes you know I'm, I'm I'm an active person I like to be moving all the time yeah yeah great great well um you know we always have to find something else to do something to you know kind of keep us busy throughout this lockdown stuff i've been going out and doing a bit of running every other day and here doing a bit of press-ups and sit-ups and so on um you you're still teaching aren't you you just did a te you just did a zoom class i tried i try i try i'm trying 
Yeah. <laughs> Um, but you, you're, you're teaching still. You just did a Zoom class just just before this one, right? Yeah, I have I have a Zoom right after, and I've been teaching for um, a couple of colleges that I work with because we had the Easter program, and they at first they were not sure if they're gonna do it or not, and then they just decided, decided quickly, okay, no, let's let's do it. Yeah, but let's do it online. So we had the whole week, almost almost two weeks where we had class um, class almost every day. You're so right. that was that was really nice. Exciting at least, you know? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. And um, there was something else I, I wanted to ask you about. On a more of a serious note, um, because there's okay. been a lot of talk about this over the last uh, you know, over the last few few uh, weeks actually. Um, with this issue going on in China at the moment with the Africans. Oh, yeah. Um, we're not yeah. this this show by the way is not that, that's not really on we're kind of slightly off topic here but um it's, it's always it's, it's really interesting to get the the views of the likes of yourself on the matter well you know at first um i well i was really shocked when i first saw any images of that of course um i personally um have had family from angola that has gone to china to study so they would have been in this situation at the moment. Um, yeah. um, that's not the case, but they've been there and they studied there before. Um, so there's a, there's a lot, lot of students, a lot of people, a lot of you know, Africans that go to China, obviously because of all the exchanges and corporations and all of that um, with the companies to go to work as well as study. So I was super shocked to see that, um, but, but not completely surprised. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my, and this is not. This is not. Uh, of course, I know plenty of Chinese, and 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 they're not like that at all. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a very bad um, sector of people that, unfortunately, are behaving that way. Whether they've been ordered by the government or not, I I really have I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Yeah. But it's frightening. It's frightening. It's terrible that in in the in the conditions that we are living right now, that they even think of exercising such force and such you know such actions against people yeah, yeah. you know be where they are so you know and and obviously you know painted with all the ignorance of you know it's because of you you bringing the virus that it's, it's, it's crazy yeah so yeah, yeah. It's, it's not that's at all yeah yeah that's my thoughts also i like you say um shocked by what i've seen but not really surprised by the behavior because it's a place that um you know, there's been a lot of racism in China against blacks for a very long time, and people don't realize that. So that's yeah, the reason I wasn't that's surprised. That's been that's actually a, a, an issue. Yeah, it's been an issue for quite a long time. Yeah. So yeah. it's not. This is why I was not surprised. Yeah. No, I'm not not happy. But I was not entirely surprised because I know that there's been you know um, an issue about how um, the generic, you know, uh, uh, Chinese perceive black people. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not, yeah. Mm. Well, I know it's it's not a nice topic, but it's one that does need to be uh, addressed. So we're not going to stay on it too long. I'm going to play one song just to lighten the mood again and get us back to having fun again. And then I have a surprise for you, Iris. You told me. I don't know what this surprise is. <laughs> I'm 
Hello to Lou Kelly. Hey Lou, thanks for joining. Hello Eudora. Eudora's loving the pom-poms. <laughs> Is that a pulsating pom-pom? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Time is pushing on and I have a surprise. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> but um, so hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, bring him up. <laughs> yes, I can't wait any longer, Iris. It's time for your surprise. So Iris, remember as we were um, leading up to this show, I asked you if you could share some music with me, bring some music along. And um, you were very busy. There wasn't enough time to organize that. Oh, I can't hear you. Are you miming or are you? Sorry, sorry, I'm miming. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> I'm letting you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Um, so, we couldn't get any music from you. So, I decided to enlist the help of a man who can. Who goes by the name of... <laughs> DJ Santiano. <laughs> Fala, mano. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Can you hear I us? Can, hear. can you hear us? Yeah. Iris says, how you doing? Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear us? No, yes. 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 Uh, Iris said, how yes. are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Taking care, looking after myself as well. Staying fit. Going for a run after this. Yeah, Lovely. try to get okay. fit, not staying. <laughs> okay. Getting fit, not staying fit. <laughs> try, try, trying to get fit, yes. Oh. <laughs> as long as you're staying active, that's the main thing, yeah. You yes. end up with yes. cabin fever otherwise. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, yes, um, DJ no, no, Santiano no. has managed to step in and help me out here by selecting a, a, a range of music that we know you will appreciate. And I thought, you know, it needs to be someone who's yeah. quite close and works a lot with Iris and knows what she likes. Yeah, when it comes to music, okay, and I thought, yeah, DJ Santiano is the right man for that. Just the right man for that. Kind All right. Of. <laughs> right. So I'm just trying yeah, to so find. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. This, this DJ Santiano man, yeah, <laughs> he, he, he has been quite, me, for quite a while now because when we started the jingle now, you know, in the new place in, in Clapham Common. And he said, yeah, I want to DJ and everything and everything. I was like, all right, all right. You know, like, you know, I had seen him DJ before, really. <laughs> and he kept on surprising me over and over, coming out with tunes that I was like, oh, I remember that tune. Where's that from? Where's that from? Where's that from? Uh, <laughs> and he kept doing that. And I was like, all right, all right. You know, like, okay, I'm, I'm loving this. And uh, we had, uh, of course, you know, other DJs with us, you know, we had a DJ, sorry, so it was really, you know, it was really exciting. I'm very, actually, really happy and excited that he's been able to really launch his, uh, um, his pattern. Yeah. And to be honest with you, we've always done, 
Yeah. You know, since the time that we did El Grande at the Coliseum, yeah. since the time we Batuk, since the time that we've done our event, it's something that we've always said, you know, we always want to support up and coming talent. Yes. And we have done it. So, you know, I'm happy to have supported him. That's it. That's my, my job is done. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Indeed. <laughs> so, um, I think what we need to do is we're going to get DJ Santiano to announce the first song from his selection. If I just get it ready on uh -huh. here. Okay. And also, uh, just give us an idea of why you have added this to the selection. Why is your first song? Why don't we do uh, that? Well, the reason is um, very, very simple. Um, every time I see Iris dancing this song, she's just like, she flies. She, just goes, she goes to a different world. <laughs> That's a <the> track. <laughs> That's a track. She just... Loves it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For sure. Okay. All right. So the first song is from um, Jean-Philippe Martinelli. Mm -hmm. Le Reissue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we Tell go. Tell me about it. <laughs> uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, Le Reissue. All right. Let's go. Okay, okay guys we got so much tunes to get through in very little time <laughs> so uh yeah we have to kind of cut that one a bit short <laughs> feels like a shame really to do that <laughs> um I but know. Yeah. you know what this kind of song um i guess i had to i had to marry a, a, a caribbean man you know french caribbean man yeah because these songs uh, <laughs> were part, were part of our, of us growing up you know so much the first time I went to the Casab concert with my husband, he was like, "What's going on with you? You know, you know the lyrics better than me." <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I don't know the lyrics. I just make them up as we all did. Yeah, know? yeah, but yeah. It was part of the program, man. That's it. <laughs> Big shout out to JV, by the way. <laughs> JV shouldn't be too far away. <laughs> 
Right, so um, we got to we w- we wanted to talk a bit about Batuk, um, and I know that when we had the last Batuk, there was uh, a bit of uh, well, there was an announcement that you made, and I actually have uh, that announcement. I have a, a copy of the video because we did a video, uh, a radio interview at the Batuk. Uh, event the last one took event okay whoa 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 i don't want to bring that in just yet um but i've got a copy of the the video here i just want to play for the audience and share it with everyone um and then we can talk a little bit more about that afterwards okay so just a sec hello again everybody we're on location again it's the 24th of August 2019, I'm with Iris and JV, and we are at Batuk, Batuk, the 10th year anniversary. And I tell you, it's been a long day, but today the whole day has been absolutely electric. First of all, I just ask Iris and JV to say hello to you. Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. This is Iris the Brito in the house at Batuk Festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JV, are you there? Can you hear us? Hi, it's JV. Happy JV. After a fantastic day. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, I know this is an extra, extra special Batuk because, you know, I heard, I saw the, the announcement you made earlier in the week. It's very sad. But, man, what a way to go, huh? That's the way to do it. You go out with a bang. A bang, a bang. But also, to be very clear, that's not necessarily the end of Batuk. That's the end of Batuk Festival as we've done it for 10 years. All right, and that's very, very important. Thank you for clarifying that. So we're going to look forward to see what's next in the pipeline. But until then, we just have to gloat on how it went this weekend or how it's going this weekend because it's been an absolutely amaz- amazing since yesterday and today the buzz during the daytime build up for tonight it's been electric there's been a real buzz you know has it been successful so far as far as you're concerned yeah success what is success you know you can count how many people are here how much money you made how happy the people were so it's a multi there's multiple dimension to the questions it's a success for us to have done something different on the 10 years while doing the same so for us bring bonga bring keisha it's almost maybe the beginning of something else but we're very happy if it's got there for me i'm looking at it Okay, so we got that. I'm not going to play the whole thing because it goes on for a bit. But um, it's nice to just see the, um, the, the the energy and the vibes from the last Batuk. The, the, the last Batuk as we know it. Um, and yeah. it would be interesting. I'm interested to, to hear what, you know, if it really is the last Batuk. Because JV alluded to something about maybe not the complete last but maybe the last as we've known it before can you shed any light Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, i'm I'm sorry my sound is crackling but i've I've got to explore that i'll I'll talk to dj santiano okay yeah talk to the gadget man yeah (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah. (laughs) talk to him him him. (laughs) (laughs) i'll talk to him after the time because um I, i I, honestly, I don't know. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I mean, you know what? Yeah, it's important to move on in life. Look at this, you know, um, change, change is the, the most constant thing in life. And we should not be or get attached to things too much, I think, at least um, if we want to keep creative. Um, but no, we, we have plans for um, different, uh, different installments of Batuk. Of course, right now, I think all events and plans are on hold um, because of this COVID uh, whatever. And uh, we need to actually, I think all of us, um, festival promoters, uh, the, you know, all of us that work in the industry 
we need to uh, see how how we're gonna move forward. You know, yeah. there's a big um, you know there's a there, there's a big want of actually uh, stopping all of this. I mean, I really don't know how you're going to stop the whole world from not going to a party, not having a mm. not socializing, not having an event. I find that very very um, strange to even. Consider. I, I, um, I think house parties are going to be a thing very soon. Yeah, well, this, this is it, isn't it? So, um, and I and yes, I want to be safe and, and I want my friends to be safe and my family and, and wherever I know to be safe and everybody to be safe. But, but um, I think uh, there's, there's, there's a lot more to what's going on, unfortunately. Um, so, we need people. So right now, I'm speaking to a friend of mine the other day because I was like, you know, I feel so bad. I feel like I want to do something. What can I do? I just feel so useless and not being able to um, contribute, participate or help or whatever. And he said, look, you know, Iris, uh, sometimes the best thing that we can do is actually just to hold space, to hold time, yeah. you know, hold space, not, not feed our ego that we have to get out and do something or, you know, kind of thing and, and, and all of that. Because sometimes that's a, it's a bit more about us uh, egotistically rather than actually um, uh, understanding what's going on. Yeah. So that was my friend Tony, Tony Ansley who told me that. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, let me let me reflect on this. Maybe it's right. Maybe maybe it's time to actually just do that. Just hold space, sit, you know, reflect, think, you know, what's going on? You know, mm. what's best in your life? You know, are you so dependent on just the one thing in your life that your whole life stops if, if you know, if the world makes, makes you stop? Yeah. You know, let's hope not. Let's, you know, I think we all of us need to nurture many sides of us, not just one side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm quite pragmatic in that way. So now at the moment is wait and see. So we were planning to have an amazing carnival, actually. This was the, the first thing. We were going to do a Batu carnival. Right. And we already have a partner and everything. And we had all the costumes coming out and organizing all of that, you know, to start promoting. But of course, for right now we don't even know if um, the carnival is gonna is gonna happen. You know, no, that's I, the one that, event. I can't, that I, I, <laughs> no, I can't see that happening. No, I can't see that happening. So you know, they've already cancelled the Olympics and God knows uh, whatever, yeah. whatever it was. They cancelled. They cancelled yeah. a lot of things. But I really don't think that that's gonna come go through. Mm. So um, but look, look at the timing. How amazing it is that you know we had the courage and the. It, I I was quite intuitive about that and said nah. It's I'm I'm you know I'm feeling it must stop for a minute you know yeah and that was last year yeah um and no I didn't imagine it I didn't dream it or anything but I felt in my heart and what I feel we need to stop for a moment yeah and look if we hadn't stopped now we would have been in so much trouble mm, mm. so life life is life life you know so you just gotta have to really learn how to go with it yeah flow. yeah yeah okay um. DJ Santiano, what's the next? Yes. What's the next song you got for Iris? Another Iris track from um, um, a Cap Verdean artist. He's a female at this time. Yeah. And it's another song that, of course, as a dancer, we all enjoy it. And Iris is not an exception. She loves this track. Uh -huh. Uh, is called Nia Principe from Anna Lopes. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I know that. That's Let's go. Nice. <laughs> yes.
Africa era. She's a true performer, isn't she? True performer. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to everyone watching right now. Please send your comments through. It's always very interesting to see your comments. We have the big bad Super Dixon. Super Dixon is back. Hey, we. Hello to Lou Kelly. Hello again, Lou. Hope you're feeling good today. Lou says beautiful. Dancing around in her lounge right now, remi- reminiscing. <laughs> Shout to Riven Hurley. Riven Hurley is watching. Edu Costa, Mr. Crazy Beats. How you doing, my bro? Eddie wants to know how how Wilson's uh, beard is trimmed so well. <laughs> Yeah, he's got his, he's got his, um, he's mastered his technique. <laughs> yeah, so the technique's been mastered there. Good for you, good for you. I, I, I got some practice to do. I'm going to let mine grow out a bit though. Hang on a sec. I've got you guys. Oh, sorry. I've, I've just muted you guys. You're back now. You're back. You're back. That was a bit unfair of me, muting you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I've been doing it. Yeah, so the music. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Me, I don't have. I, I, I don't have a good barber like Wilson, so I just, you know, <laughs> just wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. So, so Iris, for those people watching, um, that may not know, tell us about Batuk. Firstly, the name. Where did the name Batuk come from? Batuk. Yes. Ah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, well, we wanted a name that um, it was more than, at the time, it was more than just to say, oh, uh, London Kizomba Festival. We wanted something that meant something, you know? Yeah. So um, I kind of pointed, put, put it to them, to, at the time, JV and Danilo. Uh, we were the ones who started the festival. Mm-hmm. And uh, I said, what about Batuk? You know, like, Batuk means, is, is, is a drum, means, means the drum. In Cape Verde, it's also a dance, you know, Batuk, Batuku, it's also okay. a dance. But uh, it's also, but it's the drum. So I wanted something that it was kind of like unified us, yeah. rather than just being just Angolan or just Cape Verdean or just you know Saint Omer or whatever. I just wanted something that was unifying. So Batuk just meant drum. It's a type of drum in Angola. So yeah. I thought you know at least we all have drums. It's all together. It's all unifying. And yeah. then obviously yeah, yeah. we used it with the with the K to say like UK. So it kind of looks good. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, thank you. It shrunk a bit, but I think it's the designer shrinkage, you know. (laughs) Is it it, it shrunk? Was it you that? that (laughs) Make you look sharp. It's you that you think too much food. Yam and banana, yam and banana for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yam and banana. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
So, Santiano, should we play the next song? Yes, please. Yes. So, the next track is a track that I chose it because it was the, the first time that uh, Iris, um, Lydia, my partner, and I co directed the Tutu project. And it brings us like good memories and was a great experience like directing and choreographing for other people as well. Like it's, it's fun. We all learn and share the same experience. And then we perform a batuk, I think, two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. And yeah, well, that's why I showed that track. <laughs> and, and It's called Caramelo from yes. DJ Paulo and Daddy Killer. And, and guys at home, watching at home, you need to sing to this, okay? I want everyone at home sing to this song. It must be the most sung to his own tune yeah. I know. <laughs> I love it. Here we go. <laughs> And forgive me for saying Kizomba because I know it's technically it's Ghetto Zook. <laughs> don't hang me, please, don't hang me. <laughs> Please, Iris, it's not watershed yet. Behave. <laughs> Super Dixon's eyes are popping out now. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Love that one. If 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 um if I'm in a club and I'm dancing with somebody, I, I feel sorry for them for when that comes on because I'm always singing and I'm the worst singer on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right. Um so back to Batuk. We understand where the origin of the name came from. Um the last time I had yourself, uh, Iris and JV at the studio we did a show and we talked about but took in quite some detail and you mentioned something about uh you know we were going through the different uh 
events and how things developed and how you went from one idea to the next as the years went by. And you talked, you mentioned something about a double decker bus and oh. how there was a double decker bus involved in one of the, or how it was first involved in one of your your um, festivals. Yeah, we've, we've done we've done it all. <laughs> we were um, it was one of the batuks, and um, one of the parties was was held at uh, El Grande uh, when it was at the Coliseum because we had a big room there, 500 people yeah. uh, capacity room, and um, and we decided that we are going to give people the London experience because we had a lot of people from abroad at that time. Yeah. And we hired a double decker to pick people up from, you know, the official hotel yeah. to, to the event, the grand event of the Coliseum. Right. And people loved it, but it was the craziest idea and very expensive. Like, why? Why? <laughs> why? <Yeah. laughs> because it wasn't necessary to do that at all the Batuks, but it was just a one-off thing. Uh, yeah, no, we would not do it again. Yeah. But it was just one of those things we thought. At first, we thought it was a great idea. And then we thought, nah, this is just not worth it. So, <laughs> but, you know, it's an experience. And you learn with it, don't you? So. Yeah, yeah. Um, you mentioned something about uh, before Batuk, you were you were putting on a regular night, wasn't you? Long before my Kizomba days. You had a regular night running before Batuk that uh, I think it was the only Kizomba night, regular Kizomba night or something like that. Am I right? We had, we had various nights. Mm. Uh, when we started, we started our very first party um, was in a, in, a, in a hall near Holborn. Um, and they had 400 people. So we were like, whoa, whoa. So clearly there's demand for it. And we then continued to do it. Yeah. But we had, you know, we had a Saturday night, you know, at Inwood Green, a crazy big club with Danilo and Afro Latin um, promotions. We had um, nights at uh, the Chaka, Chaka Zulu. We had, uh, we were at the 101, one of the first ones places that we were, we were 101. Uh, of course, we were at Zuba for many years. Yeah. So Ruby you know, Blue, we were Ruby, Ruby Blue, Blue yes. Zuba, we were Ruby Blue. So we've we've done you know we've done around with the with the with the places in London. We yeah. also find it very, very interesting that I tell you that you probably know this already, of course. But we were finding out and discovering that um, a lot of the places in town, especially as you go closer to to town, as in the center of London, they actually are quite quite biased. They're quite they're quite racist. How you we you know how they treat you. So the moment they know it's a it's a night that's gonna have a lot of you know Afro Caribbean yeah. people, uh, <laughs> even though our crowd is mixed or whatever, it doesn't matter. The music is Afro Caribbean or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. You know you are tr you are treated differently. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you have, we have to really really at the time we have to really navigate that. You know with. Um, with uh, with those that they were in that in those positions to really kind of convince them that yeah. it's good, no problem, blah blah. blah. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I guess it, it, nothing much has changed. But yeah, that's how that's how we found out. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Santiano, what's next? Yes, um, next song is a song that brings our memories <laughs> from back in the days when we were like child i would say not even teenagers <laughs> it's a song uh, from um from a um, haitian uh, artist coupe cloué tibon <laughs> okay let me make sure i got the right one <laughs> to pay cloué tibon all Ti right bon. mm. Yes. Okay, okay. Ooh, I almost had the wrong one there. Good thing. Good, good thing you repeated that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Ça fait moins pas ouais. Ah, 
is a lovely tune and I feel like I should be I no, I need to I need to be punished for be right cutting now. it early, for cutting in early, but Iris has got me on a tight rein with the time. Yeah. And I know Iris has to be offline in three minutes at five to eight. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Busy, busy lady. <laughs> oh no, she's still on mute. Sorry, sorry. Let me just get you off mute. <laughs> Are you with us? <laughs> You can talk to him after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to talk I'm gonna talk to Santiano after this. Don't worry. Don't uh, worry. You know really nice? Yes. The song, that, the song that the Jay Santiano just played. Let me tell you the context of something like that. Yeah. It was played in a party. Because DJ Santiano is not telling you, but he should tell you. This is the kind of song that I think... How long is it? Is it nine minutes or some crazy stuff? Yes, like it's nine minutes long. I noticed yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, it goes on and on. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of song there yeah? at the end of the party, four o'clock. In the yeah, morning, at the end of the party. Night. Yeah, when the light comes on, <laughs> people are, still dancing. They are cooking, they are cooking some fish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. With some glory and stuff and plantain, banana, whatever. <laughs> and that's the song playing for those who are at the very, very end. Go, no, this one more song, one more yeah, song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. That. yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the definitely, one. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I'm and gonna it... say goodbye. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you very much for your time. It's been amazing. And you're you're a Enjoy. true you're a true entertainer, a true performer, true entertainer. Always, yeah. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Iris, you Have stay one, safe. Stay, stay, stay safe, stay well. Yes. Love Same you. to you. I hope to see you all soon in the party. I can't wait. All right. Yes. <laughs> Fingers crossed, not for too long. In a, in, in a house or in a cloud. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's Iris is has left the stream for now. Yeah. Now that leaves us with uh, myself and DJ Santiano. We've got one more tune that Santiano brought along, so we're gonna announce that one. And I've got a couple of questions for him too. Okay, Santiano, were you singing there? Yes. Carry on, don't let us stop you. Keep singing, man. Keep singing. <laughs> Give us an a cappella. This song is... <laughs> it's a great track. It's a good track. It is. It yeah. is. It is. Um, I wanted to find out a bit about uh, your connection with the whole, your connection with Iris, and you know where, how you met, and how you actually got involved in, uh, um, you know, the, well, the Batuk and everything. Well, I'm. I got in touch with um, Studio Afro Latino uh, when uh, it is, was uh, running the the night. Mm. Um, I think at the time was uh, uh, was the name of Shaka Zulu. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The first time that I, mm. I went to um, a class led by Iris. This is the South um, African restaurant in Camden. Yeah, in Canada. Yeah, really nice place. Uh, before Lovely I place. popped in twice when they were at Zubar for, for a night, but just kind of passing by. Mm. But for an event and see how they work and everything was at Chaka Zulu. And at the time, I, I, re I realized somebody told me that they were about to run um, uh, courses for, for, for to teach people how, how to teach Kizomba. I knew yeah. already how to dance, but of course I wanted to carry on developing yeah and I asked her is like if uh, I could take part in the course she said yes of course mm -hmm. ask um, uh, how how it will be and roughly she told me like we're gonna teach you how to teach we don't want to teach how to dance so okay for people to enroll they should know already how to dance so ah. to develop you in a way 
so you can be able to teach. I say, okay, that's how I got in, involved. I did the course, and since then, I uh, really never stopped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just carried on developing myself and started teaching beginners, and then um, uh, 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 taught the other two advanced levels. And yeah, so here I am, like yeah, the you are. performing, teaching, uh, yeah. the rest <laughs> uh, is DJing. history. <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah, so and then. <laughs> Get carried on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we got one last track for that you selected for Iris. Let's announce that one. Um, yeah. Just let, as me, Rhea... let me tell you which one because you had one selected. Um, it will be Mabele. 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 Yeah. Mabele. The one I have here is not Ax. It's, this is a uh, George George Rosa. Yeah. Yeah. But sk skip, skip that one and go to my belay because there's an interesting story that I just wanted to mention mm -hmm. uh, about that song. Um, it's a true story. Um, and the singer is singing about a woman that brought sorrow to, um, to his family because she was... Um, actually a girlfriend i think of the singer's uh, brother yeah. and then when they went to a party he saw her with somebody else mm. and uh, somehow a fought a fight broke up and the brother of the singer actually um ended up stabbed and uh. yeah so uh the story is saying that Belita brought sorrow and pain to our family. That's uh, the story behind that particular track. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. So just so we clear, the last track that I have that hasn't been played out of your selection is by mm -hmm. George Rosa. George Rosa, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Daniaki Zomba. Zdaba di Chippy dippy dip bow, Snobody bow, Chicken down, Snobody bow, Chicken down, Snobody bow, Chicken down, Kubata Dianiaji, Adi Jangi Bolo, Kubata Dianiaji, Adi Jangi Bolo, Moko Banza, Makamala.
Okay, that's the last tune from the selection of DJ Santiano. Thank you very much for bringing those songs along. Really appreciate it. A pleasure. It's always great because I like to share music. So yes, anytime, yes. Yeah. <laughs> anytime I'm happy to do it, man. Lovely, always lovely. <laughs> Also, a big thank you to people watching and sharing and, and commenting. Hello to Lisa, Lisa Highlands. Thanks again to Eudora. Eudora says, Wilson, stop touching your face, Corona. <laughs> Hello to Vladi. Vladi said, hi, Iris. Hope to see you soon. Shout out to Super Dixon every time. Super Dixon, big up, big up. Sorry, what was you going to say there, Wilson? No, I was about to say yes. Hopefully, when all this lockdown is finished, we yeah. can all see each other and carry, continue with what we were doing so far. Yeah, yeah. And Fingers crossed. With the parties, getting together and yeah, enjoying and sharing good music. Yeah, yeah. It's, we really miss our show, social <laughs> life and. I know. Dancing, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. So just before we sign off, a sh shout out to Lydia as well. Hello, Lydia. To Lou. Also, Caddy. Edu Costa. Thank you, Edu. Thank you, everyone who's been who's been uh, commenting and and uh, and watching. Really, really appreciate your support. So today, also a big thank you to the guest of honor, Iris De Brito, Miss Busybody. She had to leave a little bit early. She did a Zoom oh, yeah. class, an Afro Afro House class, just before she joined this one. Now she's off to do another class. That's how busy she is. <laughs> But don't forget, we're going to be here same time, same place tomorrow, which is Friday, Friday the 24th. And that's going to be a uh, guest of honor for that is going to be Uncle Carney. So that should be a very interesting one as well. And then we're back again on Saturday, followed by Sunday, fish finishing off with Robert and Jean White. <laughs> So thanks again everyone for joining thank you dj santiano as well for your music you're welcome hope everybody enjoyed the tracks and i'll see everybody very soon very very soon we hope very soon we hope we very hope. soon <laughs> thank you everybody peace and one love peace. say